welcome back to Max Learning Groups. Uh, today we are going to look at how to avoid careless mistakes and how to apply shortcuts to do faster and, uh, and better in solving our math questions. So we're going to look at this uh, simple question, which is a one mark question in the paper one. Uh, I will show you two approach. The first approach is the long approach, the longer way. The second approach is the shorter way. And uh, generally, students will take the longer approach because they are not aware that they can actually do this faster way. So let's look at this question to see what I mean. Now, if you look at this question, you can see that you have to convert the decimal or the fraction into a decimal. So students generally, what they do is they will take 5 divided by 8 and then get the answer plus 3 holes. All right, uh, that's correct. The, the, the other way is they convert the mixed number into improper fraction. So you have 3 times 8, 24. 24 plus 5 will be 29 over 8. And they understood that uh, when you see fraction, you have to divide. So then they continue with one more step. So they take 29, divide by 8. Okay, so that's good. Uh, and then they start to do long division. So you have 3 times 8, which is 24. And there is a remainder, right? Uh, so most students, they know how to continue, but there will be some students who forget, right? They forget how to, co how to continue to divide. Uh, so how do you continue to divide to get your decimal answer? You have to change the whole number into a decimal and then raise out the decimal point, put the zero down. So if you have forgotten how to continue dividing to get decimal, then this part of the lesson is going to be very important to you. So you have what times 8 equal 50? So there will be 6. Uh, 6 times 8 will be 48 and then there is another remainder. So you have to add one more zero and put the zero down and then continue to, to multiply. What times 8 equal 20? So you have 2 times 8 equal 16 and there's still another remainder. And then what do you do next? You add one more zero to continue dividing. So you put the zero down and then you have 5 times 8 uh, 5 times 8 which is 40 and finally you have divided and you get your answer 3.625 which is number 4 <laughs> but you can see that you take a while maybe uh, 2 minutes alright 3 minutes 2 minutes to get the answer uh, but is there a faster faster way yeah there's a faster way which I will show you now 3 and 5 over 8 alright now you just have to remember this special number 8 now can we can we change the 8 into a, into a thousand, right? So how do we change the 8 into 1000? So you have 8 multiplied by 1 to 5. Okay, so you have to, may have to memorize the, this special number 8. So 8 times 1 to 5, and then 5 times 1 to 5. All right, so what do you get? You will get the denominator, which is 1000, and then three, uh, and then 5 times 1 to 5 will be 6 to 5. And then what is your decimal now? So your decimal will be three holes, all right? That's three point six two five. So you can see that wow, you still get the same answer, right? And it's much faster. So you have to just remember about this special numeral, which is the eight, right? Eight times what equal one thousand? Eight times one two five. And once you can make the denominator either ten, hundred, or thousand, you can easily convert the fraction to decimal. And that's how you do faster, right? So, so I would not say that uh, whether the longer way or the shorter way is better, right? But of course, if you have more steps, then you may have more mistakes. Like if you divide, like if you divide over here, right? Uh, what happens is uh, if you divide wrongly, that's where you get the answer wrong. So that is a bit longer approach and uh, a bit risky. So I will suggest to you, okay, suggest to you that uh, that you may want to remember this number eight so that you can change it to one thousand and then get the decimal even faster, right? So I'll see you in the next lesson and uh, stay tuned for many of these uh, lessons that will really help you to understand how to avoid careless mistakes and also how to apply shortcuts that your school may not even uh, be teaching you about, all right? So you, so you will be aware, all right? So that, so that can be aware of all these careless mistakes and also be aware of all the shortcuts so they can do well for your paper one, all right? So see you in the next lesson.